rear brakes, passenger side, Mitsubishi Outlander 2018. As you can see, it has also the electronic brake. And when you change the brake pads, and in this case, I also changed the rotor, you need to push that piston back. And here's how you do it. Very simple, but you need a couple of tools. I have a power supply, obviously variable power supply that I set to six volts. And it has the alligator clips on the other end, which you will connect to the connectors inside here. This is connected. Now, if you're lucky, you will get the red and the black in the right place where the piston will detract. If not, it'll extend further out, so keep an eye on it. If it does that, stop and reverse the leads. It's very simple. So in my case, I have it correct. So when you push the button to turn the DC on, you're going to hear the noise, but you will not see the piston retract. You still have to retract it manually, push it back, but first we have to unscrew it backwards. So here we go. Now if you do that and every so often stop. Now in my case I happen to have this giant <laughs> pliers so it works good for me. You put obviously an old brake pad and if you push, you'll see that it is retracting. So you keep doing that. You turn the motor on and retract, retract it little at a time until you reach the end. So as you can see, it's all the way back by running the motor, shutting the motor off, and then pushing it back with any kind of mechanism you want. You use whatever you want to push it back slowly, little at a time. I don't recommend pushing it back while the motor is running just so you don't seize it so shut the motor off and push it back it'll go back a little bit at a time as you run the motor and push back a little bit it'll take five minutes or so not a not a bad amount of time and then once you're done of course you disconnect it and it's ready to be put back on and uh, you're done